can't test the African giant Baby, I'm all logo, logo You know get the passing when you know, no Making them logo channel people call me Remy I know it's been some time but I'm back hi how have y'all been so I actually recorded some videos and I was gonna upload them but I lost my weight and my face was just looking a little chunky so I think I'm gonna remake those videos but we won't talk about that today we'll be talking about 15 mistakes people make when trying to lose weight you know, I'm just going on a list you know what I'm saying up a couple things I got my list right here so I'm just gonna go right through it number one Focusing on what the scale says. Now, when you first start losing weight, you're going to drop weight like nothing. Like, the weight's just going to be falling off. You know, you, you're you going to go from, like, 200 to, like, 190 in, like, a week. But that's not always the case. When you lose a lot of weight, um, first, your body's not used to it. So, it's like, oh, okay, cool. You know, I'm going to lose this weight. But then after your body starts to catch up, it's like, all right, now slow down. You start hitting weight loss stalls or plateaus and things like that. And the scale stops moving. However, you're still dropping inches. So, it's really important to still take your measurements, take progress pictures, and see how that goes. Don't always focus on what the scale says. Number two, eating, eating too many or too few calories. By that, I mean... People like, I see people and they're like, okay, I'm just going to eat like 900 calories a day and I'm going to lose weight. You're going to lose weight, right, at first. And then as time goes, you're going to start losing muscle, sis. Or people are like, oh, I'm just going to eat this much calories and then I'm going to be good. You know, the amount of calories you eat is different for each person based on like your weight and your height and your activity level. So please consult a doctor or use a calorie calculator. Or I can help you with that and help you calculate how many calories you need to lose weight. Don't think just because you're eating less calories or because you're eating like under, because the average human needs at least 1,200 calories a day. Now, if you're eating like 500, that's not realistic at all. If you're going to get to a point where you're not even losing fat, sis, you're losing like muscle mass and water and like other stuff you need that you just need. So please have a realistic calorie goal that is you're able to reach. Number three, exercising too much or not exercising at all. You can act actually exercise more than you're supposed to. By that I mean, like you're doing like four hours of cardio and then you just like, oh yeah, I got my workout in for today. Uh-uh. You cannot put yourself, your body through that much stress, especially if you're not getting enough sleep in. You have to make sure to get all your sleep. Each person needs at least six to eight hours of sleep a day. I personally, I need my seven hours of sleep or else I'm gonna be cranky. So. It's important not to overdo it, but you have to do it. So you actually have to work out. But don't run like 50 miles on a treadmill for like 10 hours. You know what I'm saying? Let's be realistic here. Because that's also something that you will not be able to keep up with for a while. And you also can't really lose weight by being a couch potato. You have to move. And if you do lose weight, you won't have a lot of loose skin. So let's keep that going. Number four. Four, four, four. Number four. Four, four. Number four. Not lifting weight. Now, this is a little iffy one. I mean, I know there's people that they're like, oh, yeah, I can lose weight without lifting weights. Yes, you can. However, if you want to avoid having loose skin and you want to be toned, you have to lift those weights. You're not going to be bulky. You're not going to be stocky. You're not going to look like a man. Just lift them weights. Even if it's small weights, lift them. Number five, choosing low-fat or diet foods. By that, I mean, like... Um, I don't know. Hold on. Okay. I know what I meant by that. Because I'm looking at my list like... What, what, what? Low fat or diet foods. Okay, so like there's snacks. I think I have one. I don't. There's snacks. And it'll say like low fat. Or it'll say like zero sugar. But there's like 500 calories in it. You might as well eat a damn cookie. Because... Yeah, it's low in fat, but it has all these calories and all these chemicals in it. So please make sure you read the label, which is actually one of my numbers. So I'm jumping ahead. Number six is overestimating how many calories you burn during an exercise. Now, I'll get on the Stairmaster and it'll say I burnt like 600 calories. But I'll also wear my Apple Watch. And my Apple Watch will say I burnt 500 calories. It'll say I burnt 550 opposed to 600. The Apple Watch has my weight, my height, my heartbeat all my personal information on it 
and the stairmaster just has my weight. So somewhere between there, I burned 550 to 600 calories. Now some people are like, oh, I burned 600 calories, good. I can, I can eat it all back. That's up to you if you want to do that. But let's just just know that sometimes the machine isn't always accurate. Um, just be mindful. So sometimes when I work out and says I burnt so and so many calories, I subtract 50 from it, 50 to 100, depending on what I do, just because nothing is really perfect. And number seven. You, let's get, no, no. Number seven, not eating enough protein. In my last video, I talked about it. Protein, protein, protein. You have to get your protein. Why? Because you don't want to lose muscle mass. You want to lose fat. And I went into detail about that whole thing in my last video. If you haven't seen it, please go ahead and click it and watch it. I'll put the link in the description. Number eight will be not eating enough fiber or your probiotics. I got my probiotics right here. It's really important to get your fiber in because it makes you go to the bathroom. That's literally like, I mean, it's good for your body. I think there's other things that it helps you with. But sometimes, like, all right, let's say you, I weigh myself in the morning, right? And if I get on a scale without doing a number two, the scale is going to say something different. After, so what I do is I get on, I use the bathroom first and then I get on the scale. If you're constipated and you're not able to get that waist out, the waist is still in your body. So that's technically weight. It's not fat, so you're still losing weight. But if you're one of those people who have to get on the scale, it's like, yeah, you lost the weight, but you still got the waist in your body. So you're trying to, you need to release that. So get your fiber in because that's really good for you. Hope I explained that well. Do y'all y'all get what I'm trying to say? Y'all picking up what I'm throwing down? Yeah? Okay. Eating too much fat on a low-carb diet. When I first did keto-ish slash low-carb diet, I was doing steak and eggs every day. And it worked for me, right? But then I was like, huh, maybe I can, like, do something different. So, like, I started frying chicken and, and frying this and frying that. And I noticed that the scale stopped moving. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Apparently, I was eating too much fat. So, you don't need all that fat. Plus, it can also give you high blood pressure. It can cause cholesterol and things of that sort. And we don't want those problems, especially as an African-American female. As a female, period, we don't want those problems. Eating too often when you're not hungry. There's a lot of studies that are out there that says that if you um, eat more, but a smaller portions, you will lose weight. I agree, because that's what I do now. I eat everything in small portions, but I, I eat a little bit more frequently throughout the day. I don't just eat breakfast, lunch, dinner. I eat breakfast, I don't finish my breakfast, I finish my breakfast later on when I'm hungry. I eat lunch, I don't finish my lunch, I finish my lunch later. But if, you, if you're eating your breakfast and you're finishing it, and then you're eating like a snack, and then eat another snack, and then eat another snack, because like, oh, I gotta get all my little meals in. You're gonna gain weight, sis. Especially if you're not counting your calories and it doesn't go in your caloric deficit, you're gonna gain weight. Or you won't lose, because there's some people with very fast metabolisms that it works for. Number 11, having unrealistic expectations. I wish somebody told me this when I first started losing weight. I've seen a lot of success stories of people saying, yeah, I lost 40 pounds in one month. I'm like, I'm gonna do that. Yep, me. I'm going to lose 40 pounds in one month. I don't care how she did it, but I'm going to do it. Let's set realistic goals because if you set unrealistic goals, it would discourage you a lot if you do not meet those goals. So set short-term goals and then set long-term goals. You know what I'm saying? I'm at one of my short-term goals. Right now, I weigh 170 and that was my short-term, right? And then my long-term goal is to be 150. So I got like maybe like 20 pounds to lose till I'm at that goal weight. But I'm coming all the way from 260 pounds plus. You know what I'm saying? So I set many goals till I can get to this spot. So set realistic goals. Not tracking what you eat. Now, I know there's people who count calories and, you know, things like that. I'm one of those people. I kind of eye it. Whatever works for you. And, you know, they may eat like a little titsy roll. That's 10 calories. And then they'll eat like three more titsy rolls. That's 40 calories. And then they'll get a sugar-free drink or they'll get a um an icy or something like that. It's like these these drinks are really good. Um, they're kind of like soda and they're only like 10 calories or whatever. Or like a vitamin water zero or protein, I mean, or power aid or Gatorade zero. All those things have probably like 20 calories in it or so. And you and you just keep taking it in, but little do you know you just consume 200 calories on the low. 
because you thought, oh, 10 calories not going to do nothing. Oh, 20 calories not going to do nothing. You add some, you add some barbecue sauce to your chicken, 50 calories. Oh, that's fine. You add some light mayo, which is only like 30 calories to your tuna. Oh, that's not going to do anything. Every little bit counts. So keep that in mind when you eat those little snacks or you add those dressings on top of things. My biggest thing is hot sauce. Hot sauce is zero calories has zero calories but it's a little high in sodium so you have to be careful with that i feel like everything has a butt everything does have a butt but i think there's like a, a another side to everything feel me next number 13 drinking sugary drinks or drinks that are high in calories don't drink your calories that's just dumb I, it's not dumb but drink water i mean you got to get your water intake anyway so why screw it up by drinking a milkshake or a fruit shake for when you can just drink your water and it's easier said than done you can incorporate these little uh, flavored packets into your water if you want there's this thing called vitamin O or something like that you can put that in your water if you need something sweet just don't drink your calories that's the main thing and people get by with that sometimes you know they'll drink a uh, apple juice not knowing that some apple juice have like 150 calories and it's like this small because all the sugar in it feel me so Let's keep an eye on that. Number 14, not reading labels. You get a, a, a bag of apples and you're like, oh yeah, apples are good for me. I'm not going to read the label. Apples are good for you, but they also have calories. Feel me? You get um, just all types of things and like a, a, a bag of titty rolls. I keep saying that because we had them at my job all the time. And 10 titty rolls is 100 calories, meaning one is 10, but if you don't read the label, you're not going to know. And sometimes it's not about calories, it's about the protein intake. You have to know what you're consuming. It's about the ingredients. It's about the expiration, maybe. You just have to know what you're putting in your body because your body's a temple. Amen. Amen. That is really all I have for y'all today. Please take notes. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.